Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legit Street Cars. My name is Alex, and in today's video, I have a confession to make to all of you guys. A little while back, I made a video showing you everything that's wrong with this, my 2005 E320 CDI with 268,000 miles. But I left out the biggest problem that this car has. This is a problem so bad, it has the internet so deathly afraid of it that they use the word death in its nickname. This is an issue that if left untreated could cause catastrophic damage damage to any diesel engine, and I've seen cars listed for about half of their value after the owner received a massive repair estimate from a shop. But in today's video, I'm going to fix this problem before it ruins my CDI engine for a grand total of $18.42 using factory Mercedes-Benz parts. Either that or I'm going to break a bunch of stuff and then my next video is going to be why I'm listing this car for half of what I paid. Fingers crossed. All right, all you diesel guys know exactly where I'm going with this. My CDI has black death. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> guys, this is a problem that is not just reserved for the Mercedes CDI engine. There are plenty of other diesel equipped vehicles that can suffer this same fate. So let's get into exactly what Black Death is, why you need to fix it right away, uh, and the issues that it can cause. For those of you uh, not too familiar, we have six electronically controlled fuel injectors. Uh, they fit into a bore in the cylinder head and spray fuel directly into the combustion chamber. So we do have direct injection. Now there needs to be a way to seal the air fuel mixture and all that compression into the cylinder so it doesn't get all over the place like this. And with Mercedes, with this particular injector, we're using a one of these. So each injector is fitted with this little seal ring and basically what can happen over many, many miles. Uh, this could never happen. I've seen cars go uh, two, 300,000 miles and they look perfectly clean. Uh, but sometimes you can get what's called injector blow by. And that is when this seal is compromised and you're going to get a basically carbon that escapes from the injector uh, from around that seal area. And it's going to sound like this. So the nickname Black Death came from the fact that if you leave this untreated and you have injector blow by uh, for a pretty long time, eventually it can look like this or like this or even like this. And this is where we can run into uh, some pretty big issues. Not only are you going to destroy the bore that the injector sits in if you let it get too bad, uh, but the injector itself can get stuck in the cylinder head. Uh, so at the very least, you're gonna need to cut a new seal if you can eventually get this out. Uh, but in some cases, you do need to remove the entire cylinder head and this can cost a ton of money. Uh, so black death is bad, but if you catch it very early, on like we're doing right here, you can fix it and it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in here, but I think number two is leaking. Uh, it has quite the concentration right there, you can see, uh, of this tar carbon type substance uh, right around that injector. So this one is leaking. So let's get right into the steps uh, of fixing this issue. And of course, we are using a really neat kit that FCP Euro put together for me. These are all Mercedes-Benz parts on uh, $18.42 is all it costs. So this is kind of like, uh, this isn't preventative maintenance. This is more like a preventative repair. You're gonna get your seal rings, your bolts, uh, and that's basically all the parts that you need for this tool. Uh, and then we're gonna be talking about tools and whatnot and cleaning uh, here in a minute. All right, guys, the first step in placing the seal rings on the injectors is to make sure that your engine is ice cold. I left this thing outside for a few days. It's like 10 degrees out there. So our aluminum head is perfectly ready to be worked on. Uh, so all we're gonna be doing here is removing this bolt here to remove the injectors. And we're not gonna worry about cleaning or anything like that. We're gonna have six nice little holes here in a minute where we can kind of just sweep in all of that carbon and all of that black death and not worry about having to vacuum it up or anything like that. Uh, next, what you wanna do is get your T40 ready for battle by putting it on the biggest impact gun that you have and cranking it all the way to the max. So at this point, all we're gonna do, we're not even gonna worry about those lines. We could probably just bend those out of the way. We're gonna get our impact right there on the bolt and we're gonna let her rip. All right, boys, now watch how this is done. The key is to put it all in your groin and your back. Take your legs totally out of the equation. Lift with your lower back in a jerking, twisting motion. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> 
<laughs> Guys, I am so sorry. What you just saw is the complete opposite of how you replace the seal rings on a diesel fuel injector. You actually want to make sure the engine is up to full operating temperature before you touch anything. So I'm going to drive this thing for about the next hour, and that's going to make cleaning up all of this black death much easier. This is going to turn into kind of a gooey type substance so we can use carbon choke cleaner and some rags and clean this as best as we can. That way we lower the risk of anything dropping into the cylinder when we pull the injectors out. Also, put away the impact. You don't need an impact for any part of this job that will actually uh, destroy the threads in the head. You got to be very gentle with these bolts. Now, I have never actually fixed an engine with black death. I've replaced plenty of diesel fuel injectors, but I've never done this specific job. And I'm not scared at all because I have a factory style workshop repair manual for every single car that I own. And you guys can as well by clicking on the link in the video description box. Guys, these are factory style workshop manuals and on my Mercedes, this is exactly what I used to use at the dealership when I was a technician. Step-by-step -step instructions with pictures, with torque specs. They'll tell you if you need special tools. This will show you how to do practically any job that you can think of and you can get a manual from almost any car in existence. So check it out in the video description box. These things are only normally $20, but I'm going to leave a coupon code down there for 30% off. This is a downloadable manual that you put on your computer and you have it for the rest of your life. It is invaluable information that can save you a ton of money and give you the confidence to do jobs like this at home. So I'm going to warm this engine up. Then we're going to get to cleaning and this is going to get kind of messy. All right, guys, you know when the stuff is bubbling up that it is working. This is uh, quite satisfying. So we're gonna use a bunch of different rags and towels, kind of just soak this up. So I'm gonna use some screwdrivers. Gotta act quick though, because right now the engine is really hot and we gotta make sure we get all of this stuff up, this black oozing goo, look at that. <laughs> all right, guys, here's where I'm at as far as cleaning. With the engine all warmed up, uh, this stuff actually does break apart quite easily. So I'm using picks and screwdrivers. The carbon choke cleaner definitely broke it up as well. And then the vacuum cleaner uh, just to kind of suck it up. And uh, so that's not going to be too bad. I'm going to spend some more time getting this really nice and clean. That way we don't run the risk of anything falling into the cylinder. Uh, and the reason I haven't removed anything else is because I plan on running this engine again after I'm done just to get it back up to operating temperature before we start to remove these bolts. You want the engine warm before you do that uh, so you don't strip out the head. All right, guys, we gotta act fast. I've cleaned everything up as best as I can with the injectors still installed. I've gotten this back up to operating temperature and sprayed a bunch of PB blaster all over the place uh, just to make everything easier to remove. So we have to remove all these little lines, the connectors, uh, this rail right here for the return, uh, and then we're gonna attack these bolts. And we wanna do this with the engine hot uh, so act fast here we go All right, guys, here's where we're at, and this will show you why it's so important not to wait too long uh, with the Black Death. So as you can see, these last three injectors, super loose. We could basically just pull these right out. Oh, and I marked each injector, guys. They have to go back uh, in the exact same hole that they came out of, but look at how nice and easy these come out. I know they look uh, pretty gross and dis disgusting, but this is uh, pretty much what diesel injectors look like. So this had no black death, neither did these last three for sure, uh, and they come right out with no issue. Now, here is the difference. We have number two, and it is rock solid in there right now, and that is because of all that carbon buildup. And this one, 
is actually kind of frozen in here as well. So you don't want to go nuts trying to get these out. Basically, they sell a tool with a, uh, a slide hammer that you kind of put over this and then you can kind of pop these out. And I actually have that on order. It comes in tomorrow from Amazon. But we're going to use a little flat blade screwdriver, possibly a wrench, try and kind of turn these, try and loosen them up as best as we can to see if we can get them out without the tool. Uh, so yeah, wish me luck, guys. Hopefully these just pull uh, right out with a little bit of persuasion. Well, I am not having any luck at all with these two right here. So at this point, I'm going to take out uh, the other injectors and we're gonna wait on the slide hammer tool. So let me just show you something, guys. When you take the injector out, the seal is gonna stay all the way down there. So you need to use some kind of tool to remove the seal and then these are garbage. Uh, but yeah, most of these injectors are gonna come basically uh, just right out with a little tiny bit of persuasion. Uh, moving them back and forth like this, and then eventually they come right out. So again, we want to label these uh, and keep them in order, guys. So whatever you got to do, I marked them and I'm putting them on a piece of cardboard uh, so I remember exactly which hole they go into. But another big reason why you should do this before you get a ton of black death. Uh, so yeah, I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Well, it's actually a couple days later and all of my tools have come in the mail and I've spent some time cleaning my engine to make it look like this. Now I'm going to go over here in a minute how I made the engine so clean, but first I wanted to go over something that came up while I was editing the footage that you've seen up until this very point. I had a subscriber reach out and ask me if his friend should buy this 2005 E320 CDI with about 210,000 miles on it. It was listed at a dealer for about $5,000. And then they popped the engine cover and found this. So obviously this car has a very bad case of black death. Now they were able to talk the dealership down to about $3,600 and he asked me if his friend should buy this car and I said no, don't buy the car. It is not worth it and here's why. Obviously this is a huge mess. It's going to be a massive expense even if you're doing it at home. If just a couple of those injectors really get stuck in the head at the very least you're replacing the injectors because you're most likely going to damage them getting them out and you might have to remove the cylinder head which is no fun either. A car like this I think is worth maybe 2000 bucks at most if it's really clean otherwise. Another reason is what else did the previous owner of this car not fix? This is something that is so easy to inspect. You pop the covers off, you take the little foam piece off the injectors and you look. This doesn't happen overnight. You're going to hear some noises coming from the engine. You might even see some smoke coming out and at the very least you're going to see some black tarry goo, black death like you've seen on my car. Uh, so this isn't difficult to inspect for when you do the fuel filter you got to pop the covers off so take a look in there. Another reason is this doesn't happen to all the cars and some owners prevent this by replacing the seals before it ever happens. This car here has 200,000 miles on it. There are no signs of black death whatsoever. So my point here is guys this is a very easy preventative repair. Doing the injectors on this car with no black death is very very simple. Honestly I've done spark plugs that are harder than this job if there is no black death. So Take your time, find the right car, pop that cover off and inspect. And if it has a little bit of black death like this, definitely at least negotiate the price down a little bit and then go back home and fix it for $18.42. Well, hopefully. Uh, so let's move on, guys. I'm gonna show you how I made the engine so clean and how I think I'm gonna get these two injectors out without destroying them. All right, here's everything that I ordered and we're gonna start off with what I use to clean the engine and that all revolves around this. This is an injector seat cleaner cleaning kit made by a company called IPA. It is fantastic. This is specifically designed to clean out the seat or the bore that the diesel fuel injector sits in. So you get a bunch of different brushes that'll fit just about any diesel engine out there. And honestly, you can use these brushes to clean a bunch of different stuff on your engine. So this is fantastic. I really, really enjoyed using this and it made the job uh, probably five times quicker. So of course, I will put a link in the description box down below where you can get one of these kits. Uh, now, 
here is an injector seat cutting tool and you definitely do not need this if you don't have any black death at all. Uh, but it is a nice tool to have around if you do have black death. Uh, this will kind of like recut the seat where that injector seal sits in the cylinder head. And it's not a bad idea to do this if you don't have black death either. Uh, so let's have future editing Alex show you exactly how to use these tools. What's up guys, editing Alex from the future giving you a voiceover tutorial. Your first step, stick some paper towels in the injector bores and the injector holes, then spray some carb cleaner and try and wipe away as much of the big stuff as you can. At this point, use a light duty wire brush on a drill and have some fun, this part is very satisfying. Use a pick to get the thicker black death out and then and spray some more cleaner and wipe away. Next, pull out your paper towel from the injector bore and use a long Q-tip from the IPA kit with some carb cleaner on the end. Wipe the injector seat clean and try and pull out as much of the carbon as you can. Next, you're gonna use this wire brush from the kit. Put it on the supplied handle and spin it clockwise in the bore. This brush is made to fit in the injector nozzle hole so it cleans that and the seat at the same time. When that's clean, use another long q-tip to wipe up the mess. Next up we're going to use another IPA brush and spin it clockwise by hand once again and really clean up the injector bore. If you want to do a light seat cut just find the properly sized bit and since this has a guide that fits in the injector nozzle hole you just install it all the way down, attach your t-handle and spin it clockwise gently by hand. After using another q-tip this is what it should look like. Moving on we're going to clean the threads for the hole down bolt so plug up the injector bore again and remove your paper towel from the bolt hole. I discovered that a little straw from the can of carb cleaner is a little miracle tool here. Just install it in the hole, spray some carb cleaner in there, and use an air gun with a rubber nipple over the straw. The threads are very deep in the head, so this straw lets you blast a lot of air pressure in there to clean them up. You can use a tap, but with an aluminum head, I prefer to clean them gently as to keep the threads as strong as possible. After you're done, you should be able to thread the bolt in easily like this. So after you mint out your engine, you do want to clean up the fuel injectors. Here is one that I cleaned by using one of the brushes in the IPA kit and some carbon choke cleaner. Uh, and then you want to lubricate the injector so that it doesn't get stuck in the cylinder head if you need to take it out again. And the factory uh, uses this ceramic grease right here. This is straight from Mercedes. Uh, this is a $20 bottle. And even if you goop it on like I do, this will last you a very, very, very long time, so very inexpensive. Uh, and if you wanna spend even less, you can go on Amazon and pick up ceramic grease for maybe like nine or 10 bucks a tube, and I'll leave some links uh, down below. Then you just put your little seal on the injector. Don't put anything on that. You put that in dry, uh, and you're ready to rock and roll. So our plan here is very simple. I wanna get this engine back up to full operating temperature. We're gonna fully install those four injectors that we had no issues with, and then they are completely done. Then we're gonna use an old bolt, and I'm just gonna snug it down. I'm just gonna hold these in uh, hand tight. I'm not gonna torque them or anything. We're hooking everything back up and then we're gonna go for a ride for about an hour to get this thing up to full operating temperature uh, once again. The main goal here is to heat up that black death. That stuff gets a lot more malleable uh, as it gets hot. Uh, so at that point, we're gonna pull this in. We won't have to mess with any of those injectors at all. We'll take these lines off. We'll take the connectors off really quick and then we're gonna use the slide hammer tool and it's very important important to get the engine up to temperature. You don't want to damage anything. So that is the game plan. Let's go warm this engine up and then hope that we can get these injectors out without breaking them.
This CDI has been running and driving for the last hour. I picked up my daughter, I went to my son's Christmas play, and I even let the car idle in his school parking lot the entire time. I reek of diesel fuel and black death, so I could only imagine what all the other parents were thinking, but you gotta do what you gotta do to get your car fixed, and this is where we are at. As you can tell, right down here, the remainder of the black glue it's very, very soft. It's actually bubbling up. It's hard to catch on camera right now, uh, but this stuff is actually bubbling around the injector. This is an excellent time to use this guy right here, our slide hammer. So we're gonna fit this onto the injector. The slide hammer tool is actually built for this very injector. And then we're gonna go to town. So first, I have to take off these two lines and the return rail and the connectors. And again, we gotta act fast. So guys, please wish me good luck in the comment section. I'm probably gonna need it. Guys, this is where we're at. This number two injector is coming, but man, this is insanely hard. At the dealership, we had the same kind of tool, but it was pneumatic, check this out. Worked a lot better, but then again, this tool was only 40 bucks. Uh, but I gotta keep on going at it, and I think even if I can get this one out, we're gonna have to put it back in with the new seal and everything, run the engine again to have any chance at getting this one out. The engine's gotta be really hot and it's already cooling down, so I gotta get back to work. Check it out. We got it out. Oh my God. All right, so that was about 10 minutes worth of slide hammering. I'm completely beat. But check out this injector. And the tool fits right here in this groove, right here. Didn't damage the injector at all. So we gotta clean this up, put it back in, run the engine, and then do it all over again. Look at how worn out that seal ring is for the injector. Holy crap, no wonder why it was leaking. I'm literally taking this bolt out while the engine is running so we can preserve every last little bit of heat. And look at that. See it bubbling? Oh, uh, that's a good sign. I don't even need to speed this footage up, guys. I literally have to go so fast on this part. Oh, come on, connector. Where's my 14? Where's my 14? All right, here we go. Oh, okay. Slide hammer time. Come on. I can't believe how stuck this is. This is crazy. Come on. You son of a... This is crazy, guys. This thing is so stuck. Ow. The CDI is back up and running and no black death whatsoever. It is perfect. And these injectors are in excellent condition. This car can sit for like a week. It can sit for two weeks. It can be five degrees out and it'll just fire up with no smoke, no issues whatsoever. The only thing I have to look into is possibly a new battery. Uh, a couple things I wanted to mention. The connectors can take quite a beating with the black death. Uh, this is working just fine, but there are gonna be cases where you need to get a new connector or fix the wiring. See, the insulation has kind of come off, so it has exposed wiring. So I gotta fix that, no big deal at all. Uh, and then also, if you're wondering, this is the special slide hammer uh, attachment, and it fits right in here perfectly, and it mimics the factory clamp, so you don't do any damage to the injectors at all. If you've made it to the end of this video, please comment down below, let me know. I know this one was kind of long, but I wanted to cover everything that I could with this Black Death issue, because it kind of is like the biggest problem with the CDI engine, uh, but that's about it. These things will last a million miles if you maintain them properly. Change 
change the oil, change the fuel filter, and swap out your injector seals before you have any black death. It's about $20 and maybe five or six hours worth of labor if you don't have to get out the slide hammer like I had to do. Uh, with that being said, I wanna say a big special thank you to FCP Euro. Check them out, link down below. They have a lifetime guarantee on everything and they're always supporting my channel, uh, which is just really, really special and important to me. So thank you FCP Euro, thank you to IPA who provided me uh, with this fantastic cleaning kit. Uh, and I'll link everything else you saw in the video down below as well. Uh, with that being said, hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new, share the video, and most importantly, have an awesome day and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.